Next we'll go into some detail about LightMap efficiency. By default, Enlighten uses LightMaps to light actors that have the mobility static. Enlighten groups the surfaces of each actor into one or more charts. Let's look at how LightMap charts work and how to improve their efficiency. In the World Outlier, double-click the actor Roads Straight to Lane 18 to focus on it. To see the light map pixels mapped to the meshes in the level, in the Show menu, enable Enlighten Light Map Charts. Each color represents a chart, an area of the mesh across which lighting is smoothly blended without scenes. Each square represents one light map pixel. The actual colors of the charts don't matter. Don't worry if your chart colors are different to the ones in the screenshot. The Roads Straight to Lane 18 mesh is a single color. This means its faces are grouped into a single chart. If you don't see the colored charts, run the Enlighten Parameterize again under Build Rerun Enlighten Parameterize. Enlighten automatically makes sure that each pixel has a constant size in the world. If a surface of a chart covers a large area in the world, Enlighten produces more light map pixels for the chart. To see this, position the camera so it looks down on the road's straight to lane 18 actor. Set the editor position grid snap value to 100 units. Unreal Editor superimposes a 1 by 1 meter grid over the mesh. The overlaid grid has a surface area of 10 meters by 12 meters for 120 square meters. The default light map pixel size is 1 meter or 100 Unreal units, so you might expect Enlighten to create 120 light map pixels. However, the overlaid grid doesn't exactly match the light map pixels. This is because Enlighten adds one half pixel of padding on all four edges, then rounds up the width and height to an even number. That means the width is 10 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, which is 11, which is rounded up to 12, and the height is 12 plus 1 plus 1 for 14. The final chart for this actor is 12 by 14, or 168 pixels. Let's compare this to a light map used by another actor. In the World Outlier, double-click the actor Props Lamp Post 01 to focus on it. In Details, under Static Mesh, double-click the thumbnail to view the Static Mesh asset. The asset opens in the Static Mesh Editor. In the main toolbar, click Charts to view the Enlightened Charts for the asset. Unreal Editor displays a notification, Enlightened Light Map Usage, 8 by 8 pixels. This information is also logged in the output log. To show the output log, use Window, Developer Tools, Output Log. The smallest possible light map size is 2 by 2 pixels. This means that small actors with lots of charts tend to use lots of pixels for their size, a case of diminishing returns. With the default light map pixel size of 100 units, the light map for this lamppost contains several small charts, creating a light map of 64 pixels. This is a relatively large number of pixels for a relatively small object. A large flat floor with size 700 by 700, 7 meters by 7 meters, would use around the same number of pixels. Close the Static Mesh Editor. From the Show menu, select Use Defaults to show the level with the default editor visualizations. In the Show menu, enable Enlighten Light Map Efficiency. This shows the relative efficiency of every actor in the level. Actors that have the ideal efficiency are bright green, blending through yellow and orange to red for very inefficient actors. Many small actors in the level, such as the lamppost, are orange. This means these actors make inefficient use of light maps. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about using probe lighting to remove these inefficiencies.